Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another episode of Latest EFT News. If you're not subscribed, hit it below. It really does help me out. So we've got a lot of news to go through today. I've just watched a talking, uh, not talking, the Tarkov TV podcast. And we got a ton of information about what is happening with the game for the next patch. And we got a lot of arena information as well. So I'm going to split this into two videos. In this video, I'm just going to focus on what we will be getting in the next patch. And then I will produce another video all about the arena information that we got which was quite a lot i've already done one video regarding that but we now have a lot more information to go on so i think it's more deserving of its own video so for the next patch a wipe is confirmed there will be a wipe when this patch drops there is no date for that happening nikita said that there's still a little bit more polishing to be done on this patch and a few tweaks here and there to be done so he said you'll just have to hang tight wait for the pre-wipe events and he said pre-wipe events quite a few times so it does sound like they've got some planned and some ready to go so uh, my best guess is that it's probably towards the back end of this month, maybe the beginning of next month, but don't quote me on that. It could be any time from now until the end of the year, basically. But yes, a wipe is confirmed. So what will we be getting in this patch? Well, obviously we're getting the lighthouse expansion. So you're going to be able to go onto the lighthouse island where the lighthouse is. You will not be able to have access to the lighthouse at the moment, though. When the patch drops and we get the lighthouse expansion, the lighthouse will be strict. The access to the lighthouse will be restricted for a while. It will will eventually be opened up but Nikita says that they've got some in-game events that they want to do to bring about that and there'll be some special things that you have to do to gain access to the actual lighthouse itself so what those will be we'll just have to wait and see but there are quite a lot of other things I'll go through the weapons first so obviously we're getting the Benelli M3 that's the new shotgun the G36 he said that it basically the entire family of G36 weapons is coming to the game and they showcased some of those look pretty cool although the actual sights that they come with are pretty shitty but he says you know you can change those out there's the rd704 that is a 762 rifle um nikita said that it's, it looks a lot like an ak but it's better than an ak we had the uh, 338 bolt action rifle which was showcased we didn't get a make or model of that but he said it will come with a silencer it looks like a pretty decent weapon to be fair the mp18 which is a single load 762 rifle that was showcased as well looks like one of these guns that will be a, a quite a lot of fun to use the flare gun was showcased and um, we're gonna get obviously you'll be able to use flares with the flare gun but you're also going to get single use flares that you'll be able to pop off as well looks like there's going to be six different types all together differing colors four of those you'll be able to call different types of airdrops in with so you're going to be able to call in the airdrops that we currently get you'll be able to call in medical supply ones and food supply ones as well sort of food and drink there was no sort of information on how often you'll be able to call these in and how many people on a certain raid will be able to call them in so we're still awaiting sort of how it's actually going to work is just one person in a particular raid going to be able to call it in I can't see you know we're going to have six seven planes per raid going over i can't see that i think it will be limited but there, as i said no information was given any more than that the three rogue bosses that have been showcased before obviously will drop with the um, the next patch but they won't be fixed to lighthouse i assumed previously that they would be fixed to certain locations in lighthouse but nikita said that they will be roaming bosses they will roam differing maps so at certain times of the day they will switch to another map and they won't have fixed locations in certain maps they will just sort of move it around so you could literally see them anywhere at any time on any map which i think is a really good thing to add into the game obviously if you're looking to farm them for quests or things like that they're going to be very hard to find but again it's a, it's a dynamic that i think should have been in the game a long time ago fixing bosses to certain areas all the time for me just doesn't really work so to have sort of this sort of dynamic with new bosses i think is going to be a really good addition to the game he also spoke about the mgl which big pipe is going to have this is of course his grenade launcher nikita says it will be very hard to get hold of but it will be lootable from big pipe but you will not be able to sell it on the market so again there's a lot of controversy around that weapon how we, how easy is it going to be to, uh, you know to get hold of looks as though taking on big pipe is going to be quite the task i think it's going to be very very hard to kill this guy and 
obviously the payoff is you'll be able to get the MGL. The uh, ammunition for this is not stackable. In the video that Nikita showed, you was not able to stack the um, ammunition for it. Obviously, it takes six rounds at a time. So once you've gone through whatever you've managed to put on your person, that is it. The gun is effectively useless. So I can see it being a bit of a meme for a lot of the content creators, a lot of those that are on Twitch. But I think in everyday use, I don't really think it's going to be too much for us to worry about. Certainly not going to be something that we're going to come up against raid after raid it's just going to be one of these things that we'll probably see just now and again but we won't see a great deal of so i'm happy with that i think it's probably going to be need to be balanced and tweaked once it does release but you know it's not going to be the op weapon that i think a lot of us thought it would be so other things confirmed for the patch and um, the amd fsr which is the amd competing technology the dlss that was showcased as well nikita said that that's ready to go and will be in the next patch so for those of you that feel like you've missed out if you didn't have an nvidia card you are now going to be able to bump your frame rates up and the look of your game as well scavs are going to be getting daily tasks so when you choose your scav you'll be able to go to fence get a daily task from him and carry that out whilst you are playing your scav i think that's a great addition to the game obviously it's a good way to boost your scav karma as well so if you've ever been in one of those situations where you've lost a lot of scav karma you'll be able to gain it back quicker now ir eliminators will be added into the game so you'll be able to blind other people with an ir eliminator this Basically this is a flashlight that can only be seen in infrared if you've got your night vision on. So obviously at the moment if you use your night vision and put a flashlight on you can blind yourself and other people around you but you draw a lot of attention to yourself as well. With these IR eliminators you won't be showing people where you are because you'll only be able to see it in night vision so I think those will be a good inclusion to the game. Night vision does need a little bit more adding to it. I think night raids are great but yeah the night vision needs a little bit of work so this will be a good addition to that. Co-op is finally going to be added into the game for pve mode this will be for only eod edition owners to begin with nikita says that they're going to have to buy in extra server capacity to do this so he says for the moment it will be for eod owners only but he may open it up in the future depending on how it goes but you will also be able to when you use the co-op mode go in as groups as large as 11 so i think that's going to be really good especially for content creators that want to create certain situations in a game it's going to be good for people that want to practice in large groups so yeah i think that's a great addition to the game it's something that people have been asking for for such a long time so it's good to see that it's finally going to get added into the game there's also going to be new clothing coming into the game i think that's for both bear and usec only usec was shown in the video though there's going to be three special slots added to the pmc inventory so at the moment you have a special slot where you can put your compass in it's non-lootable we're going to get three of those slots and all three of these slots will not be lootable so whatever you put in them will stay in them nikita said things like range finders your compass and eventually radios will be added into those slots so that's a good addition i think also getting new animations these were showcased these are for the leaning and the running and the crouching this is something that nikita's been going on about for a couple of weeks now and they look pretty tidy they look pretty good i think they will look really good once they are released into the game and we were also getting two new usec voice lines and two broken english bear voice lines as well that will be added into the game all of the things that i've just spoken about will be in the next patch so i'm hugely looking forward to it there was so much information that was put out by nikita in the podcast it was hard to keep up with some of it but this was everything that i gleaned that will be in the next patch obviously everybody wants to know when it'll be nobody knows nikita wasn't going to let it go he never does we will just have to wait for the build up to the uh pre-wipe events whenever that will be so let me know in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen what you're most looking forward to in the next patch i think from what i saw of the lighthouse expansion the actual area that you can go into looks pretty good but it doesn't look like it's anything hugely special so i'm gonna sort of reject reserve my whole judgment for when they add actual access to the lighthouse how that comes about how you actually have to get that access but yeah a lot coming so nikita did talk really quickly about streets he said that in terms of level design and art it is done but there is still a lot more optimization to be done with that and that is what's holding it back but he says we will see the first iteration of it in the coming months so there's a lot of people that have said well they won't wipe the game with the next patch they'll wait until streets comes along it looks as though we are wiping with the next patch and streets could be added without a wipe now i ended up getting into an argument with somebody on twitter about that who said there's no way they launch streets without having a wipe well technically they can and i think they may do 
they, they want to bring this out sort of early autumn time so it's like Nikita says like September time it's too early for a wipe then if we're gonna have one sometime very soon but we'll wait and see like I say in every video you can't second battles can't second guess battle state games they will just do what they want to do at the end of the day but yeah let me know in the comment section what you're excited for um obviously subscribe if you're not currently subscribed I'm covering all of the latest news on Escape from Tarkov and as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and I will catch you in the next one take care